Welcome back to Tori Talk Festival. On today's episode, we are at Fort Smith Comic Con 2023 to meet the Hawk Hunt Man and Victoria slash Tara. And we'll have more on the other channel as well about actors. But this is a wrestling episode. We're also going to meet our friend Tommy Flanagan. And we're going to go to an indie match. So that's going to be very exciting. Okay, very cool. Hi, Tori, who is that? A honky tonk man. He's a honky tonk man. Very cool. Say, so, who do we see? The honky tonk man. We're going the right now. Look, look, look where we're going. So fast. <laughs> I was like, she's actually. Look who it is. <laughs> Tori, it's him. It's Victoria. <laughs> oh my gosh. What do you think? I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Let's get up here. Do a video of me coming over there? We'll take a picture with you? Okay, yeah. we'll do that. Okay, hi sweetheart. What's your name? My name is Tori. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. You having fun? Yes. Yeah, it'll be fun out here today. You didn't come yesterday. I didn't see you. No, I was not here yesterday. Good. It was thunderstorming. <laughs> Yeah. What's the name of your channel? Tori Talks Wrestling. Tori Talks Wrestling. You want to talk some wrestling right now? Yes. Okay, ask me a couple questions. So, what's your favorite match you've ever had? Uh, the one where I won the Intercontinental Belt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And who's your favorite person that won? I was just going to say that. I knew that was what she was going to ask. Go Kobe. Brother. <laughs> you know, yeah. brother. Yeah. Brother, brother, brother. <laughs> okay. So... Have you ever collected your own merchandise or no? No, I didn't keep it, a lot of it, and I should have. I never had pictures made with people that I met along the way, and I should have done that. And it's just when eBay started, I started saving some things, and then uh, now I wish I'd have saved all those jumpsuits. When I moved from Memphis to Arizona 32 years ago, I threw all my old jumpsuits in the trash. Oh. oh. Oh, there no. was no eBay 32 years ago, folks. <laughs> That's too uh, bad. Yep, I'm, but I'm not a collector too much, and some guys are. Jimmy Hart's a big collector. He's got like a warehouse full of things. He collects everything. And I found out later on that even old brother Hulk Hogan, he collects all of his stuff. So, now, well, yeah, now he's got two stores down in Florida where he sells it. Yeah, and also, who's your favorite wrestler of all time? Gosh, there were so many. But the one that I, I had a lot of matches with Jimmy Snooker, Macho Man, and I liked the wrestling Harley race. I thought he was one of the best ever. Everybody, subscribe. Tori Talks Wrestling. Thank you. <laughs> the homie told man said so. All right. Thank, Thank you, you, dude. So, welcome to Tori Talks Wrestling again. And now we're talking to Victoria. Yeah. So, you are one of my ultimate yeah. favorites. Oh, so. you're. She says that to all the wrestlers, by the way. Oh, yes, she please. does not. And if you're not subscribed to Tori Talks Wrestling, shame on you. Subscribe, click that bell icon, and also the reminder, and the notification reminder, and the likey likey button. Thank you. Yes, That's welcome. <laughs> so, what's your favorite match you've ever had? You're going to laugh. Uh, my favorite match was a Halloween one. Um, I stress as a sumo wrestler. Do you remember that? No, uh -huh. you probably weren't born at that time. Yeah. We'll go look it up, though. Yeah. Um, and it, it's not the hardcore or anything like that. Yeah. It's because I picked an outfit so large. It was actually those ones you, you compete in the, the parks. Mm -hmm. So I thought I used my head going, they can't eliminate me because they can't lift me up. But I was second to last to get eliminated. Or no, third to last because it took two girls to eliminate me. But I was trying to use my brain going, these girls can't pick me up. And I go, I'm going to win this. I'm going to win this. But it didn't. It backfired. Mm -hmm. But the reason why it was my favorite, everybody almost peed their pants because they were laughing so hard. Because <laughs> I fell on my back and you can't stand up. Because your hands are like this. And my legs were like, you know, just my little peaks were out. And um, yeah, they were laughing. And then I was going, you guys, we got to finish this match. We only have three minutes left. And they were like, oh my God, I'm gonna pee my pants. And I'm like, hurry, I can't get up. You guys gotta bring me up, stand me up, stand me up. Yeah, I was, yeah. and everyone was laughing. So when you can get someone to laugh, those are my fun ones. Yeah, Not the dangerous true. ones because you get hurt. That's right, we don't wanna yeah. see that. And also, who is your favorite person to work with? Oh God, no, I can't. Um, I have fun. The ones I laugh with, with a lot is our Mickey James and ODB because that's our goal is to get, break each other's character. Yeah. But. 
I had so many good wrestlers that my opponents were all good and they all had different styles. So you can't just say, I like working with this person. Yeah. Because I was very lucky that I got to work with girls that, okay, yeah, we'll do that. They were not really difficult to work with, you know, so. Kindness. You were in an awesome generation of I was, I was. I'm very lucky, so, honestly. Y'all are, uh, y'all are all iconic. Oh my God. When I talk about these things, it's shocking that I did this for a living. Because I, I go home and I just, normal life, laundry, steam clean the carpets, pick up my dog poop off the pee pee pads. <laughs> I just so normal, but when I come to these, I forget what I did. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's rewarding. Yeah. You guys, tune in to Tory Talks Wrestling. Do it, or I'll widow's peek your butt. Okay. Don't smudge it. Oh, it looks great. Yeah. I know what colors look good. You I've had good. people say, can you just sign it in black? Well, that's a black suit. If I sign it in black, you can't see it. Yeah. Black background and everything. And sometimes the gray pens are just horrible. Yeah, that looks good. But the problem with the paint is, it takes a while to dry. Or it'll smudge on my clothes. And I've mm -hmm. ruined a lot of really nice shirts because it's smudged. Okay, we'll just set that to so the that side. Was good there, okay. okay. Perfect. Now, what's on the card? Just sign it? Just sign, yeah, just sign that one. Okay. Oh I'm going to try the silver on here. Threw that jumpsuit away. Oh no. Do you see that ring, by the way? That Hall of Fame ring? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. We've seen three now. We've seen Trish Stratus's, Jake the Snakes, and yours. So. Oh, and Lita. Did, did Lita have one? No, but not by mine. I don't know. I don't know if she did or not, but we've seen her too. So, how's your, your show going, though? It's good. Yeah? It's hard to get the subscribers, huh? Yeah, I There's just, an algorithm, like, evidently, do you know the algorithm, like, how to I do just, that? I know it, but I don't know anything about how to use it to benefit, but I did just do a short of another wrestler, like, doing a promo, and uh, it got, like, over a thousand views in a day, which is, like, a lot for me. That's a lot. It's a lot for us. We yeah. don't usually No, that's a lot for anybody. Did we give you yeah. one of these? No. Oh, it, that's her channels that she's got. Okay. And it, do, do you have a YouTube channel or anything? I you do. Wanna plug, you want to plug it? Um, yeah, hey. Hey guys, this is Lisa Marie Barron, formerly known as Victoria from WWE, formerly known as Impact Wrestling Tara. We have a show called God TV, YouTube slash God TV show, and it's hosted by Mickey James, myself, and SoCal Val. And we have wrestlers um, come on as guests, not just talking about wrestling, we're in pajamas, drinking wine, and talking about old times or like what they're up to. And embarrassing stories, that kind of thing, you know, because we all travel together so much. So it's not just wrestling talk. It's, you know, what we're doing, you know, our, what, our, how our body feels and just talking truth. We have no filters so be prepared for that. You know, <laughs> it's a little cursing that sometimes it slips out. But yes, Mickey James, SoCal Valor and I started during COVID because we didn't know what to do. And it's, just, yeah, we're doing well, but Y'all go like check I was it saying out. to you, the algorithm. Oh. Yeah, oh, that's right. Y'all be sure to yeah. subscribe. Yeah, subscribe, like, click that I bell icon, and put the reminder. Notify me when it, as a reminder. That's right. So we're back with How Wrestling and our favorite referee Tony Flanagan. Okay, so. here he is. Say hi, Tony. Hey y'all. All right. Look at How Wrestling. Uh, nice Professor to meet you guys. P. Nice to meet you guys. Very cool. So Tori's got some questions for Tony. What you got? So what's your favorite match that you've ever officiated? Favorite match I've ever officiated is actually going to be my first match I ever did way back almost 25 years ago. Dusty Wolf and Perry Jackson, Action Jackson. Okay, and where was that from? Where? What state was you in? Ashdown, Arkansas. Ashdown, Arkansas. And I've got one. Actually, I have two favorite matches. My second one would be former NWA champion Kim Storm against the lover boy Matt Riviera, which is now a congressman. He's retired. Okay, very cool. And what's your next question? Who's your favorite wrestlers to work with? To work with? You know, I've actually been in the ring with Ricky Starks. Wow. Um, Barbie Haney. Haney. 
which I think is now retired. She's off in Las Vegas. One man, Matt Dale. I've also worked with uh, Jeremy the Cowboy Young. When he was in WWF, he was Jeremy the Flame Young. Worked several matches with him. His matches are always enjoyable. And of course, the Midgets match at the Arkansas Travelers game between Little Kato's retirement match in the picture. <laughs> against beautiful Mike, and uh, both of them beat me up that day. That is not nice, is not it? Not nice at all. Not very nice. And who is your favorite wrestler of all time? The American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. Well, that's a pretty big pick. Tori says Dustin Rhodes is better, but... I like both. She does like both. And how did you get your first referee job? Well, it was in Ashdown, Arkansas. Referee's car broke down. I was working security, and they say, "Hey, we got a ref shirt. You got black pants on. We think you can do it." Six matches. And I, you never looked back, huh? Never looked back. Almost All right. Twenty-five years later. That's a pretty cool story, actually. You just fell into it, huh? Fell into it. Literally fell into it. <laughs> <laughs> and which indie wrestler do you think has the most promise? AEW. Brian Cage. That's a good pick. Thank you. So, they all have to me, so thank you very much. So, this bill was purchased new in 1946 by Sputnik Monroe. This is the bill that Joe Lewis sweated on. This is the bell that was there the night that Sputnik Monroe busted the, uh, the guy in the skull and they had the first official desegregated match in Memphis. This is the bell that for Honky Tonk Man's first match in 1977, this was the bell that was there that night. Then it went into uh, Jerry Jarrett's possession with Continental Wrestling. This is the bell that was ringside for the Jerry Lawler, Andy Kaufman feud, the whole feud. So this has been sweated on by some of the most famous wrestlers in, in history. Tori, the DNA that's on that bell. And... Tori's gonna ring it, help her ring it then. Ready? <laughs> How cool is that? Thank you so much for letting us look at it. Oh, you're absolutely welcome. So you got to pull the handle. Randy Hales, Jerry Calhoun, some of the best refs and the and top keepers in the business for you. Oh, how cool. Well. And here it is, guys. A close-up. Yes. 1946 Bevan. Awesome. Thank you for letting us look at that. Welcome back to Story Talk Wrestling. We're back from the convention, and we have some really cool stuff to show off from our friends and from the celebrities. First off, we have this poster from for, the... For the Fort Smith Comic Con, and it includes the IWF people as well. Okay, so they later put on a free show for everybody, mm -hmm. and so we will show that later, some of the wrestling that they did there. So next we have autographs from Professor P, and I hope I'm saying this right, Big John? I think his name was Big John? Either way, you're big and cool looking, so... <laughs> and maybe John. <laughs> and Professor P also gave her a free... Armband, so how cool arm, is that? Armband bracelet. Mm -hmm. Very nice. They were very, they were very nice also. Mm -hmm. And then, courtesy of Howl Wrestling... Yes. Facebook link in the description. Okay, yeah. got a Fort Smith Comic Con shirt that they autographed Yes, for her. thank you. And gave her her very own... All access pass to the wrestling show. We also believe that they're about to start some live pay-per-views on the Facebook. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, y'all go look up how wrestling. And the way we found out about the whole event. Tony Flanagan, thank you so much. He gave me two headshots for the person one. How nice is that? And he said he got beat up in this match right here. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. So, yeah. He was very, very cool, very nice to us. We wouldn't yes. have even known about the event without him. Mm -hmm. So now he's our favorite ref. Very yes. Very cool. A hundred percent. Yes. So now, she met another couple people. Mm -hmm. And who would you like to discuss first? The Honky Tonk Man first. The so, greatest intercontinental champion of all the time. I could not uh, get a retro figure in time. So instead of on eBay, I got this Jack specific figure. Which in my opinion looks cooler anyway. It does show his long sideburns and his hair is slicked back. And he's coming to your town in a pink Cadillac. And then this is a special card. Why? Because mm -hmm. Granny Beth got it for me. 
at yard sale and it was really cool to be able to get it signed. Yes, so Granny recently passed away and to get that signed is very special. Mm -hmm. And he told us some very interesting stories. In fact, just a little quick info here. I said something in Tori's Wrestling Families video that he corrected for me. Mm -hmm. Because I was always under the impression, I heard it in some interview, but he corrected it, that the Welch Fuller family strong armed their way into territories. And he said that is absolutely not true. He said the Welch family actually was co owners with Jerry Jarrett in Tennessee. He said they would co own a territory with people. And that's how they got so many territories. It wasn't that they strong armed, they financially invested into each territory. So that was good to be clarified on. So now we have this autograph for the Honky Tonk Man. And it's very cool. Had it sent it to me. And I also got my cousin John an autograph as well. Okay, and his looks just like that. Mm -hmm. And he was very nice. Greatest Intercontinental Champion of all the time. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to jump to a woman that was one of the most iconic figures in female wrestling. Yes. And it is... Victoria slash Tara, Lisa Baron. So I had her sign it to me. Hugs and slams. <laughs> and Hugs that's, and slams. It's very cool. And then we have some other autographs from her as well. We got this one? Mm-hmm. And fun fact, she is a K-pop and J-pop fan, just like me. <laughs> and then she actually had something there yes, for sale that I had never seen before. Mm -hmm. And it's her and Stevie Richards' combo set. Uh -huh. And she autographed her side. Yeah. And if we ever get a chance to meet Stevie Richards... Yeah. And she actually was relieved whenever I got it. Because was the last one there. She's like, oh, thank gosh, I don't have to bring this back. <laughs> she wouldn't have to mail it home. <laughs> and she had her own cards there for sale. Yes, and I bought this for $10, so that's a very good price. I would also like to plug Victoria Lisa Varen's channel, where she and Mickey James and SoCal Bell talk about their experience in, in wrestling, and it's very cool. So do go subscribe to her. Link in the description. So I would like to thank everybody who helped me uh, learn about the Comic-Con and this Comic-Con, uh, the wrestlers, and just... Everybody there, thank you to Tony Flanagan, especially for letting us know about the event. That was very cool of you. So what was your favorite part of the event? I liked all of it, but I've always wanted to meet Victoria, and so that was probably my favorite part. No, it's pronounced Honky Tonk Man. <laughs> so Dad's favorite part was Honky Tonk Man. Oh, yeah. No, I, sorry, Victoria, but yeah. Okay, and so I loved everything, but I honestly liked learning about the history of that bell. That was really that was, awesome. That was interesting. After we sign out, we will send you... To IWF Wrestling, where you can see the matches that happened while we were there. So, yes. So, thank you for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Go in the description to check out my merch store and my other two channels. Bye! Bye! Whoa. Yeah.
And Tori now has merch. Go check it out at bonfire.com. Link in the description and under the About tab. Bye!